We're down here at the base spot. I got a 48 hertz tone queued up here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and just roll into this until I can see those clip indicators light up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. What's up, guys? Steve Young coming at you here. A uh, little uh, tech video today. We're going to be discussing uh, amplifier clipping, uh, clip indicators when you're running multiple game matched amplifiers in your vehicle. Uh, I myself run two uh, Sundown SCV 7500D amplifiers in my Jeep, and when I ran one SCV 7500, I was able to utilize the uh, remote game knob here that has a power LED as well as a clip indicator, which is really nice if you give it a demo and you're winding up on the game knob, you can see when your amp starts clipping, you can back off a hair. Well, right now in the Jeep, um, I just wind it. And if I smell my subs, I'll probably turn it down. Um, so I have no idea whether or not I'm clipping. Um, you know, I did set my gains with an O-scope, um, you know, using a, a negative three dB uh, recording level track. But, you know, if you're, if you're winding on the volume knob or, you know, I'm playing with the bass knob on my uh, Rockford PA1, you know, you never know when you're clipping unless you have a clip indicator. But using the factory uh, remote gain knob with the clip indicator, with gain match amps, you're going to upset the balance um, between the uh, between the two amps. So, anyways, I'm not able to utilize this, um, but I have a solution. Um, the uh, the Amp Lab, you can find them at theamplab.net. They just released a uh, a new product here called the RPCM that actually takes the place of your remote gain knob. Uh, it plugs right into the same six pin uh, cable. If you don't have a six pin cable and you want to order up one of these RPCMs from the Amp Lab, they carry these cables in stock as well. It just plugs right in like you would your base knob, um, except it doesn't have the remote gain control, but it does have the power LED as well as the clip indicator LED, which you can mount in your console or your dash. Uh, it takes a, a quarter inch drill bit and you just go ahead and drill a hole and get these mounted up and you'll be able to see whether or not your amps are, uh, are on for one and for two, whether or not they're clipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and get these installed in the Jeep. I ordered up two because I have two amps. Um, if you have four amps, you should order four. Um, however many amps you have, you're gonna need one per amp. Um, I'll put a list of amplifiers that these are compatible with, known amplifiers. The, the list is constantly updating um, you can probably find that information whether or not your amplifier is compatible by, uh, by shooting an email over to uh, Ethan or Troy at the Amp Lab um, exclusive audio up in Maine. They'll help you right out, um, but I know that it is compatible with the uh, Sundown SCV line um, and some other Sundown models as well as some other amps from different manufacturers. But yeah, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get these installed and see how they work. Alright, so we got our quarter inch drill bit here. We'll find a suitable location. I have uh, my remote switches to turn on my amps right here. So I'm probably gonna head and just drill this area here for power LED clipping, power LED clipping for both amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that drilled up and uh, check back. All right, so you can see I have the two power LEDs um, ran through and installed into the RPCMs. I'm just going to tuck those up underneath the console here, um, you know. But uh, yeah, so when you get your holes drilled, uh, these pop off, the end of these. Um, the black pops off. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand here, but it does pop off. Um, so go ahead and uh, get your quarter inch holes drilled. Um, pop these into place, run the LED up, and uh, pop it back in and then uh, just make your connections. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these run, get everything connected. All right, so we can see we have uh, all four LEDs installed. Um, you know, my installation is probably not as straight as it could be or as sexy as it could be, but this is a purpose-built vehicle. It really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's just a quarter-inch uh, quarter drill bit. Drill your holes, pop your black trim rings in, pop your LEDs up through, get your connections out, plug them into the box. I'm going to go ahead and make all these connections here and get it connected to uh, my six pin wires uh, and then just get them plugged in back at the amps. 
All right, everything's all set up front here. I'll go in the back, plug the uh, six pin cable right into the remote spot here. And there we go. So, other side's already plugged in. Uh, now we turn everything on. We should be able to see power LEDs. Beautiful. Awesome. Now, uh, out of respect for my neighbors down the road here, I'm not going to turn this up to clipping, but we're going to take a ride down to the base spot and uh, see if we can uh, get the clip indicators to come on. We're down here at the base spot. I got a 48 hertz tone queued up here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and just roll into this until I can see those clip indicators light up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to get a little, uh, make it a little loud here for a second. So we can see the uh, clip indicators work like they're supposed to. Um, you know, I'd say it's a success. So, uh, you know, if you want to see if you're clipping and you run uh, multiple uh, gain matched amplifiers, then uh, hit up the amp lab and get yourself some uh, some of these bad boys. All right, guys. Um, so if this video was uh, was informative. Um, then go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments um, if you are interested in purchasing these uh, RPCM go ahead and hit up the amp lab they seem to uh, seem to work pretty well um, you know my next video is going to probably be a rundown of what's changed in the Jeep obviously we got the stripper pole in now and uh, we got the big box in the back there but that'll be a separate video this video I just wanted to get these RPCMs installed see how they worked um, let you guys know there's a solution for those of us that run uh, gain matched amplifiers that want to have the, the power LED and the clip indicator. Alright, take care.